So I will make a super cap uh, from scratch with only this negative like this material. So the total amount of this negative uh, oh geez. active material is 4.7 grams, almost 4. Point, yeah, 4.76 grams. <clears throat> So the amount right now is 4.5 grams, so I use 0 0.2 grams. Here's my separator. Electrolyte. This super cap will be some symmetrical design. It's a little hard to make super cap out from out from any binder. So previous amount was uh, 4.5 now I have 4.3 also the positive I use only 0 0.2 grams of active material I will add a little bit more electrolyte current collector anymore and now I will first I need to measure which is the positive which is the negative this is the positive
And that will charge this super cap. I charge this with 2.5 volts, 300 milliamps. So I will skip this charging and I will record when I discharge this battery, I mean super cap. And where is my resistor? Okay, I find my 25 ohm resistor. Discharge this. I mean, yes. Uh, switch off the power supply. So the starting voltage of this super cap is uh, 1.7 volts. So that's why I need to discharge this uh, to 0 0.8 volts. And that's it, almost 5 minutes. So I will calculate uh, the capacity 
of this super cap uh, but I need this phone because on this phone I have internet connection so I get 17 ferrites out of this super cap and now I will connect this motor And I get almost 9 minutes of run time for this motor. This motor takes between uh, 30 to 40 uh, watt hours, uh, I mean uh, milliamps of current, and you see almost 9 minutes. For super cap, which have 0.2 grams of active material together 0 point, uh, 0 0.4 grams of active material material are all together
so that's it for now we we'll see us in the next video and like always bye